Hello everyone, this is Clausius, and I'm back with another StarCraft II beginner tutorial, and today we are going to continue to focus on Terran. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and move up to Easy, and today we're going to talk about upgrades. So let's go ahead and get started with this. So upgrades are probably one of the most undervalued things in bronze and silver. Mostly because A, half the time people forget them, and B, half the, t the other half, they build them really, really late. So uh, I'm not going to talk too much about the timing of upgrades. Uh, we're mostly just going to talk about making sure that you have them and that you're adding them onto your units. So we're still going to focus on supply, marines, and whatnot, but we're going to start adding on gas and getting upgrades and tech labs and everything else. So we're still learning a lot about the marine Not unit and how minerals. to utilize it. So we're still going to do our basic opener, block off our bridge. And then right after this first supply, we're going to build our barracks as we did before. This is pretty much a standard opening for most matchups and most uh, uh, build orders is to simply build a supply and then build the barracks. But in this game, right after we build the barracks, What's we are going on? to build a refinery. Roger. So this gives us gas. So three, uh, you can put three ready. SCVs on this and you'll get Vespi and gas. And you're going to need that for your upgrades. Now let's go ahead and get Supply Depot. Highlight two. And if you ever select too many, what you can do is hold shift, left click, and you'll deselect one of them, and then you can just right click the yep. other two. That's a good way to solve that I click too many problem. And if you're ever in a rush, what you can do, uh, let's say these guys right here. If you're in a rush, you can select many of them. Let's say you have two guys, you can go there, one, two, three, there, one, two, three, and then right click back. And you'll still have three. So in this case, I have four and three there, but that's just something you can do. So we're going to start our marine production, and then we're going to start on another Jordan. barracks. What's going on? And now I'm going to start a second gas. This is mostly to get me plenty of gas. This might be a little much since um, I'm not sure how much gas we're actually going to use this game, but. The idea is to Command center pretty upgrade. much get okay. gas and use it as much as you can. Alright, we do have a lot of minerals building up. Normally you would ex uh, expand at this point, but we're still working on the basics. So, now that we have plenty of gas, I'm going to go ahead and build a third barracks and start with my upgrade. So I have two marines for defense. Uh, it's, I think it's important to get at least two for defense. And now I'm going to hit X, which is this tech lab. This tech lab will actually give us more uh, research. And we only really need one tech lab. And for the rest, I'm going to put C, which is the reactor. The reactor lets us build two basic units at a time. And the tech lab will give us some basic upgrades for those basic units. From there, I'm going to select this, hit build, and we're going to build two engineering bays. Add on complete. All right, and let's not forget about a spy. All right, and this one, I'm gonna continue my marine. And now I'm gonna research Stilm. Stilm is one of those very, very important upgrades for your marines and even in the future your marauders that you really wanna be careful with how you use. But what Complete. Stilm does is you hit T uh, or whatever the hotkey is uh, to Stilm your marines and it takes uh, a little bit of their health and it increases their attack damage. So it's really good for overpowering your opponent. Um, but it, if you abuse it, you'll end up killing your Marines because you'll take their health like really, really rapidly. If you hit it over and over and over, each time you hit it will take their health. So you only want to use it during engagements. So, But as long as you're careful with it, you can actually get very, very strong Marines. So here, I'm actually going to add these to five. This is what I do. You can add it to six if you want as well. So what I do is hit um, this, and I can hit tab, and this will actually select my upgrades. And I'll hit E and A. 
So I'll get my weapon upgrade and armor upgrade. So this will give me one one. Alright, and now that I have reactors, I can actually get away with just two barracks, but because I have a lot of minerals, I'm gonna go ahead and one, start to spy. And two, start to three more barracks. And I think that should be plenty. Alright, so this will give us one one, one attack, one defense. But if you want two two you can do this. I think 1-1 one, one will be a good start for practicing, but if you ever need to, you hit V, or not V, um, V and build a factory. You don't have to produce anything out of it, but that'll give you access to the armory. And the armory needs to be built so you can go to 2-2 two, two, and 3-3. Three, three. But for now, let's just focus on 1-1 one, one and get a bunch of Marines. 1-1 one, one and stemmed Marines, and then if you want to add on to it, you could also do Combat Shield, which gives them plus 10 life. So I'll do that next. And that's pretty much the basic opening um, upgrades. Once you have that, you pretty much have a good, uh, what we call timing attack. So basically you attack right when those upgrades finish. Let's see, see. So they're about to be finished, so now we can start working our way across the map. I want to make sure you have a lot of marines and go ahead and attack. Oh, I made a very basic mistake. And that is getting supply blocked. Do not do that because with these, you start producing much faster than you would expect. So now I'm producing two, four, five, and soon six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And each of these only give eight. So every single cycle, I'm having to produce um, another supply depot, so I'm having to produce a lot more supplies very rapidly. Okay, I got one. Alright, uh, that's too many. Do, 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 do. Not enough minerals. Okay. Alright, so one thing you can do if you want is take one marine, stem it forward. Just to see, make, see what you're fighting. Because you don't want to take a very bad battle where you just lose your whole army, but as long as you're good, or if it's about even, you should be good. Because Likely you'll have an upgrade advantage. Stem once. Let them do their thing. Attack up the ramp. And now I don't really want to stem again unless I see another army. Simply because I don't want to reduce their health too much. Normally you would counteract this with medevacs, which heal your units, but we haven't gotten there yet. So now, for now, just only stem once. Not enough minerals. By the numbers, boys. Uh, I need more supply. What's going on? Gonna reach that very, very rapidly. SCV ready. We could use some help here. All right, and that's pretty much it for upgrades. So next, I'm going to go ahead and move up one more level and try this again. So next up, we'll be moving one more level, and then we're gonna go ahead and attempt this again, the same exercise. Uh, let's see, time supply capped a little high, it's above 30 seconds, so I'm not really a fan of that, at least for the opening. Uh, I had a lot of unspent resources, so a couple mistakes there, but not bad for talking and playing at the same time, I think. Alright, so we're going to play again. He really did have a little bit more army than me, but it's Zerg, and maybe he was going for a little bit of a rush, I'm not sure. But let's hopefully do better next time. So next up is medium. So medium, I think, is the default for, like, bronze-level people and uh, maybe some silver even. I'm not sure. Um, it's been a while since I've been brought in silver. But I think medium is a, a good level to get to. If you can beat medium pretty consistently, then probably you could beat some bronze-level players. So let's see if we can beat medium with just our basics. Uh, just for with our marines and our upgrades and don't forget the uh, to counter invisible units We do have those scans so make sure you keep track of those So uh, between the last video and this video we actually have a lot to work with So I highly recommend playing 10 to 20 games with just the last video in this video Just so you don't get supply blocked and you're using um, your units Make sure you're doing your hotkeys and your build properly and this is just learning how to use pretty much just Marines and SCVs. That's all we're doing right now. Oh, it's still really close, so I'm gonna send it a little further. You can see I haven't reached 100 yet. And now I have. 
Not that big of a deal. You can choose either or. Not Just preference. Minerals. Alright, and as always, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Additional supply depots required. Okay, and then get our gas. Alright, I think we're doing pretty good. SCV ready. Get enough supply. You scared me! Not enough minerals. Yep. Hit two. Put them on gas right as it finishes. SCV ready. Get a marine, build that, and we have another 150, so let's go ahead and build another barracks. And get our second base. Alright, we're good on supply for now, so I'm going to build a third barracks. Command center upgrade, not enough minerals. Grab two, put them on gas, put three on gas each, don't forget to send my hotkeys, and I have two marines, so let's get that tech lab, so I can start up still. Okay, build engineering, get my <laughs> SCVs, don't forget those. Now my supply is less than 10, so I'm going to go ahead and build another one. Reactor. Add on. Not enough minerals. Uh, Not enough minerals. Get stone. Not oh, enough I minerals. thought I hit the SCV. My mistake. SCV is more important. Alright, reactor. SCV. Not Marine. enough minerals. Your SCVs and Marines come before ready. everything else. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Add on. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Who wants some? Alright, getting some. What's going on? Get another engineering bay and we'll get armor. Not enough minerals. Okay. Not enough. Add on. Complete. Not enough. Ah, uh, now we're getting expensive. And we're still catching up with supply again. Oh my gosh. I keep forgetting how fast it is when you have like Not reactors on minerals. everything instead of some tech labs. Not enough minerals. So I'm gonna get Not two enough minerals. of those. Get another Not SCV. Now it's a fight between the SCV and Marines. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough Additional minerals. supply depots required. I got it. I got it. You come over here. We need another supply. All right, get that SCV. SCV is a little more important than Marines. Get that armor. Not enough minerals. Yeah, it's a really big fight with the minerals <laughs> when you get this fast production, but it works out really, really well with raising your army very rapidly. Get another SCV. Not enough. Get another army. Not enough minerals. Get. Not enough minerals. Uh, that. Research right. complete. Not enough. How much longer is this cat? Uh, about a minute. Not enough. So I'll go minerals. about thirty seconds, I think. Upgrade complete. Get one more supply. Not enough minerals. Yeah, this has. Yeah, we'll go in about 20 more seconds, I think. Not enough Keep minerals. making stuff. Gangway, coming right. through. I think Not we're just minerals. about good. Save my little scan, because I have 50 energy. Keep building supply. That'll be very important moving out, because you want to have this support. Alright, so let's put that, and let's go orders. attack. SCP ready. 
Not enough minerals. Let's go attack sure right, thing. right under the ramp. So let's go right here. So I can not make sure minerals. I'm not walking into suicide or something. SCV ready. Big job. Gangway coming through. Not enough minerals. <sighs> Producing units very rapidly. Research. Not enough minerals. All right. Stem one. Go up there. We're good. Okay. Go up there. Ooh. Okay. Stem once. Keep producing stuff. Keep producing stuff. Check your supply. You do not want to get supply bogged during a fight. And we're good. We don't need to stun the second time. Alright, get out of the way. Get out of the way. Alright, make sure we get supply, which we're pretty good on supply, but I want to stay ahead of it. Alright, and we should be good to go. And that's pretty much medium. Uh, some side notes, if you had to, in, had to encounter some invisible units, you would hit C and click, you'd hand to invisible units. If any flying came in, or you were worried about flying, or you're getting attacked by flying a lot, uh, with engineering bays, you unlock a turret, which is B and then T, which is a missile turret. It costs 100, so it does slow you down quite a bit, so don't build it unless you have to. Um, but it is good for protecting yourself from, D, uh, from air. Uh, if you notice a lot of air, then you can build two for safety, one in the mineral line, one behind the mineral line. And then if you notice some destroying your stuff, you can put one next to your supply and barracks and stuff. Uh, I wouldn't put more than one unless there's a lot of flyers. Uh, but basically turrets is good for your anti-air if they keep dropping in your base or if they have a lot of air flying in your base. But mostly you want to focus on your marines because turrets can be expensive, especially in the opening. Uh, another note about turrets is you do not need a turret before four minutes. So the fastest flyer that can get to you, I think is four minutes or four minutes, 20 seconds. So as long as you have your engineering bays up and it's before four minutes, just keep working on your SCVs and Marines. Defeated. After four minutes, if you're really worried about it, you can put one in there. And then maybe at like five minutes, you can add on a second one or something. Cause they shouldn't be able to do a lot. They shouldn't ha be able to have a lot of flyers at four minutes, more than like one, maybe two at most. Uh, and then at five minutes, you can start worrying about two or maybe three um, or whatever. Uh, another good thing about turrets is they actually can see invisible things too. So you can see right here, detector. So if you see a bunch of invisible people running in, turrets are good for detecting invisible things as well. But you also have the scan for that if you need it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully you guys found this video helpful. And as always, guys, well, let me check the stats real quick before we do anything. I think we did good on our supply. Yes, under 30 seconds, so 17. It's pretty good. Uh, a little bit high average of resources, but I think that was because of the end. You can see our army constantly going up at a very sharp slope, which is really good. Uh, and APM's above 40 to 60, so we're good on that. Work is created, 40. It's fine. We haven't gotten into expansions yet, so we're not worried about that. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you guys found this video helpful, and hopefully you can use this strategy to beat medium and maybe tackle on some bronze three or bronze two, maybe even bronze one. I don't know. I'm not sure how strong bronze is, but hopefully this will help you start uh, utilizing the marine unit very effectively. And yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and look forward to seeing you guys next time.